was afraid I couldn't live up to these expectations. You don't think you got your validation? For me, this is the first time having a sequel to anything, so I was really excited about building on the characters. You got people that need you now. The second one, we wanted to make things a little bigger. Bringing back Ivan Drago and his son, Victor, and, and that history, that animosity with Creed and Rocky, it just made it that much more intense. This guy is dangerous. I ain't got a choice. That's the same thing your father said, and he died right here in my hand. You can always relate to an underdog story to the person who's fighting for something, who has passion. It was easy to kind of be a part of something that was human. If you want to fight this man, that's your business. But don't pretend this is about your father. Ryan Coogler suggested Steven, and I was excited to work with Steven. I was really looking forward to building something with him. That looked good. That looked good. We understood it. He just wanted to go the distance. What a talented director he is. I could tell he was going to be great for this picture. It's not just us anymore, D. And that's exactly why I can't lose. Steven is very much his own voice and wants to come in and tell his own story inside of this. I want to rewrite history. That's one of the challenges when you're getting passed the torch by two legendary filmmakers. And Sylvester Stallone and, and Ryan Coogler have been very helpful in saying, hey, this is what this world is like. How do we stay true to that while putting your own stamp on it? To see it played out in a new generation with a new guy, it was fantastic. It may not seem like it now, but this is more than just a fight. Steven has been a blast. He's a really strong leader, and you want to follow him.